The gills that developed in the early chordates are the same type of gills which are possessed by fish today. Uh, water is taken in and as it passes through the slits in the pharynx, these pharyngeal slits, oxygen is removed from uh, the water because there is an abundant blood supply which goes to these pharyngeal arches. This forms the gills. So the heart uh, sends an, um, a blood vessel known as the ventral aorta, which branches and goes to each of the gill slits uh, before it reunites to form a dorsal aorta, which now carries the oxygenated blood to the tissues of the body. All chordates, including vertebrates like ourselves, uh, possess structures like these at least as embryos. Human embryos and those of other land uh, vertebrates do form pharyngeal slits, which are uh, given branches of a ventral aorta, which reformed to make a dorsal aorta, although these tissues are later reorganized.